Hey guys, so in the previous video we did uh, do all the VPC configuration and the network configuration. Now we need to, we're gonna run our uh, firewall. So under EC2, you go launch instance. And here uh, you name it, so. You know what, let's do an internet. And here. Here it is like the most common one, but let's say you want to do you could browse more, you go here. <clears throat> and there's different bundle like uh, you have bundle one, bundle two, bundle three. <clears throat> Uh, each has different features. This is, this is a lab that's to use bundle 3. It tells you like the product detail, pricing. You have uh, 15 days, usage, and so on, so on. Alright, so here it is. Tells you like the support of the, the the default support type. You could increase it if you want. So let's edit the networking. So here it's using the VPC, the subnet. We want to use the management. This is to access it. You no, know, select existing security group. You want to allow all and advanced network configuration, you can specify the um, interface that you want. Um, since already, it's gonna be already have that. And let's launch it. All right, guys, it took some time since this is the first time I'm launching it and uh, you can see the public IP here. So now we need to SSH to that public IP to give it a credential so we could access it through the web. Hey guys, so after for waiting for the firewall to come up, uh, it takes a couple of minutes to do so. Just uh, if the SSH authentication failed, just give it a try a couple of times and wait like five to 10, I wouldn't say 10 minutes, five minutes for it to come up. So then you'll SSH using the key that's provided from uh, AWS, the key that you have specified. And the username is admin, and then the IP of the device. Here I had to add that since the host key algorithm didn't match, so I had to set this up on my machine. Uh, now I'll show you the whole configuration mode. Set management config. User admin. Password. And you specify the password you want. Enter it again. Um, All right, and this is like the firewall. And let's see, like the network interfaces. Now we have we didn't assign any interface to it. As you can see, they are all in the gray format. All we did only we we actually configured the management interface and interfaces. Now what we need to do is actually assign the other two interfaces to the Palo Alto firewall and what we need to do, we we'll go under here, interface. All right, so now we need to do uh, attach this interface to the instance. So what you're gonna do is just attach it to the instance, okay? And let's do the same for the inside interface. And actually, we need to do also here, uh, here change source destination check. Uh, we don't wanna, we don't wanna do that. Just since like the traffic is not always destined to this interface. All right. So let's go back to the instances. Hey guys, uh, so yeah, I had to actually restart the 
EC2 instance to get uh, those uh, links up. Usually it, this shouldn't be the case, but like uh, they weren't coming up, so I had to restart the instance and they come up. So anyway, what I did is under the interface here, you could see uh, I configured this as layer 3 and uh, specified the, this is under none, so let's fix that. Uh, this is the virtual route, so if you have multiple virtual uh, routers, something similar to VRF. And also I created the, the security zones. I didn't configure anything on them, just name, name them. All right, so this is inside. And we'll do the same thing for this. And I want the ACP client and also create a default route provided by the ACP server. IPv6 we don't have here. This is not the management port, so I want to enable management on it. So that basically it, like we created a zone and we created create two zones and we configured the ACP and then we commit the change. And to see which one is the inside interface, which is the outside, you could rely on the IPs here. All right, and you could see here the IPs. This is the inside, and this is the outside. And what you could do also under the EC2 instance, maybe on the overview. Yeah, so you could see it here. It gives you the information. So you see with each interface, which is zero is the management, one is one, and two is two. Hmm, okay, so here you have it. It shows you under index 2 So you could rely maybe on this enough, but uh, what I could prefer using is just check the IP addresses here Those has, have been assigned by uh, AWS since this is the HCP Alright, I think that's enough for this video. It's a little bit too long um, anyway, In the next videos, we're gonna go more into that in uh, Through the appliance how to harden it how to configure uh, access list and so on so on Thank you guys for joining, see you in the next video. Please also if you like, like and subscribe and click the notification button. Alright, bye.